Hispanic students make up nearly a quarter of all public school students. And the Census Bureau reported that the dropout rate for Latino teens has shrunk by half since 2002, but only 22 percent of young adult Latinos have college degrees. We'll take a look at this and some other educational gaps in the Latino community. Hello and welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Candace Kelly and I'm joined by Alejandra Ceja, director of the White House Initiative on Educational Excellence for Hispanics. Thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. There's been some growth, but room for progress. In fact, high school graduation rates are at their highest level since 1974. But when we look at Latino children who did not attend preschool programs, that is really where you are trying to make a difference. Tell me a little bit about what you want to do there. Absolutely. Um, our initiative has a cradle to career agenda. And for us, early learning education is that baseline to ensure that our kids have a head start and are prepared. Um, and it will help us strengthen that pipeline so that they are ready to graduate from high school and enter college and be successful. And studies certainly have been done about those preschool programs, but for the Latino community, access seems to be uh, the, the hump that a lot of people have to overcome. What is it that you're trying to do in order to let people know about the programs that are out there? Well, less than half of our young children that are eligible for early learning programs are not in an early learning program because a lot of the times parents don't have information to where high quality early learning programs exist in their community. So one of the goals of our initiative is to really provide them with information and continue partnering with stakeholders who are um, that have great early learning programs that are models that we can scale up across the country. Are, are there certain issues that you know the Latino group has to overcome as opposed to other groups when it comes to access to information and just finding out what is out there for them? Well, I think for us, the, the main thing is making sure that parents have relevant, culturally relevant information available to them also in Spanish and ensuring that community partners come to the table um, because education is a shared responsibility for all of us and we want to continue to increase the access to early learning programs so that our kids have that opportunity to be successful um, and make a difference in our in our country. I want to talk about standardized test, standardized tests for a moment and, and I'm wondering if that makes a difference in terms of the fact that many students grow up in Spanish-speaking households, then they have to perform on these tests that may not speak to them culturally or may not be in a language that, that is their first language. Well, we definitely have access to um, quality um, bilingual education programs that have made a difference. Um, we want to continue providing and working with our stakeholders to ensure that we can provide culturally relevant information and having teachers also that are um, bilingual and in the teaching profession will help us make a difference for the education of our children. And are you finding that a test that the, like the SAT, SATs has been different and I guess had a negative impact on the outcome of one, on one's education? I would say that we'd have to do more um, to also inform parents in terms of you know what, what's at stake with these tests um, and, and ensure that our students are prepared um, and have the opportunities that they need in, in terms of having quality teachers, in terms of having access to a quality education. I think all of those are factors that we're trying to address. Your financial toolkit is something that you're going to roll out very soon. Tell me a little bit about that. Absolutely. The president set a 2020 goal that our country would have the best educated, most competitive workforce in this country by 2020. Um, our toolkit is a resource guide that is going to help us increase information to our Hispanic parents and students. It's going to include critical information on what this administration has done in terms of investing in college access and affordability and what some of our stakeholders are doing in terms of supporting and increasing scholarship assistance. Your work so far, how have you found that it has been doing in terms of the number of people that you've reached? We currently have um, a newsletter that goes out to more than 37,000 stakeholders across this country. All right, well I want to thank you so much for being with us today. Good to see you. Thank you. And thank you for watching.